Don't be Gwail Levinson. And it's time to talk sports, boy, after a massive Wednesday of basketball action in the high school playoffs. Today we had some baseball action at the Diamond where the CMU Mavs played host to the number 19 team of the nation, the Northeast Nazarene Nighthawks. A beautiful day for baseball and the Mavs found themselves down 14 Nothing through four and looking to make a comeback. Well, great grabs like this help. Kenny Hara ends the top with a six as the Mavs scored seven runs in the fifth to cut the deficit in half. Trying to get closer, Max Bernie smacks it to right. Hara scores and chug it on home is Joey Blake as Bernie is safe at second. As CMU makes it 14 to nine and boy, the Mavs pitching stepped up in the second half of this game. Caleb Bruder catch it a night look nighthawk looking to end the top half of the eighth bottom eighth now it's 14 10 and robert shar lines it just down the right field line fair and now shar is showing off the wheels hesitates for a moment but he's going three and sliding on in safe at third for a huge triple next batter and have a day max bernie belting it deep to left center and that ball is gone a two run dinger as colorado mesa scores 12 unanswered runs to make this just a two-run game. Bottom ninth now, two men on, two out. Shard trying to walk it off and just not far enough as the Nighthawks make the grab and get the win on a wild game at the Diamond. 12 runs in a row. It's not enough for the 12th ranked Mavs to make a comeback as they fall short in game one of the four-game series. It's a doubleheader Friday between these two. First pitch of the first game is at noon and from the diamond to the ice where the abs were in action up in Detroit and what's new Nathan McKinnon getting things started his 34th goal of the year puts the abs up one nothing and this goalie show the Red Wings finally got on the board with eight minutes to go Dylan Larkin that's his 25th of the year a tough one for the abs to allow it as we head to overtime and in OT it's Patrick Kane who finds the back of the net for Detroit Tough, heartbreaking loss for the Avs, but thanks to overtime, they still end the night with a point. And Coach Bednar knows this team just needs to keep moving forward. I'd like to see one go in the net. Didn't go in. You got to move on. You know, you got to keep working at it. I think we forced a few things on that power play too, though, like trying to go through the seams. And, you know, we got to get that shot mentality back. And, and we have it at times, but, it's, you know, he, 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 I, I trust our players, and I know that they'll, they'll figure it out. And they are doing some better things here recently. Uh, they'll get rewarded if they just stick with it. And with the loss, here are where things stand for Colorado. Just a single point behind the stars for first place in the central. So still very much in great position to try and jump Dallas for that very valued top overall seat, which of course allows you to play a wild card team in round one. And as it stands right now with 24 games to go in the regular season, the Avs would take on the Jets in round one. And in the NBA, no surprise here, the Denver Nuggets dominating the nine win Wizards, grabbing their 37th win of the year, 130 to 110. Nugs spread it around nicely as seven different players scored double figures and Michael Porter Jr. led the way with 22. Denver is right back at right back at it again tomorrow night in Portland. An update to Fruita's boys basketball playoff game this Saturday at home against Broomfield. That game has been moved up from 7 p.m. to 2 p.m. this Saturday and part of the reason for that very sadly is because Fruita's C team of volleyball and swim coach tragically passed away in a hiking accident. We send our sincerest condolences with her family and the entire Fruita family. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.